Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! Alright, guys, check that out. What's up everyone? Scott the Tri Hammer here. Got another video here showing you how to clean a fish. Today we're going to be cleaning some surf perch. This is one of the ones I caught in the last video I went on. I've done some other videos on how to clean fish. You can check those out by clicking this link that's going to be right up here. And of course before we get too far into it, I'm trying to get this channel to grow to a thousand subscribers and I need your help to do that. So if you could please hit that subscribe button down there and the notify bell up there on your side of the screen so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. And quick plug, because we're almost there, I'm going to be doing some giveaways once we hit 500 subscribers. I'm almost there, and I'm doing shout-outs to new subscribers. So if you guys want to get in on that, all you got to do is subscribe today. So surf perch, they're just red tail perch or silver perch. This one here is a red tail perch. You know, there are striped perch also in some different areas of the coast. But this one here, the thing about surf perch, they are very similar in anatomy to a crappie. So the way you're going to clean them is really similar to a crappie. So things you're obviously going to need, you're going to need a cutting board. You're going to need a good fillet knife. This is my Kershaw fillet knife that I keep sharp enough to shave with. You're going to need a plate or something to hold the filleted fish on. Obviously a sink for rinsing and cleaning purposes. Alright, so the first cut you want to make when you go to clean your surf perch, pull the pectoral fin to the side, you want to feel for where that gill plate ends behind the head and angle your knife toward the head and cut in underneath that gill plate toward the head like that and make sure when you bring your knife through to slice you don't slice through the abdomen nice thing about surf perch is they have really thick sturdy ribs you guys will see that once we get them open flip it over make the same cut on the other side you obviously your cuts are going to line up just like that where you go from here really depends on you know whether you're right handed or left handed I'm right handed so it's easier for me to start by cutting the fish this way Go back into that cut you make on this side, and when you get to the spine, you'll feel the spine turn the blade toward the tail of the fish, and sort of go between the spine and the dorsal fin. And these fish have a lot of meat on their back, a lot of good meat, so want to save as much of that as I can. Once you get past, about halfway down the dorsal fin, that's when you can make your cut all the way down through behind the gut of the fish through the anus, and then keeping the knife turned toward the spine of the fish, sort of work your knife down to the tail. Just like that. And then from here, open up the fish and sort of bring the tip of your fillet knife along the ribs of the fish. Use the ribs as your guide and sort of shave the meat down the ribs. You'll see when you get in there, the ribs are right there, the intestinal, the intestinal cavity is all inside there. You don't want to open that up. But once you get to the point where you can see skin, really no meat saving a, worth saving on that belly. So I just kind of go through the skin like that. Turn the blade down toward that first big cut we make. And then back through to shave off that skin. So you see, there's the, there's the meaty fillet. And here, you know, this is all bone, and then the guts of the fish right here, so really no meat was wasted on that. Shave that little bit of the abdominal wall off. Don't want to eat that stuff. And so if you like eating the skin of the fish, I've never tried eating the skin of a surf perch, so I really don't know what to tell you. I personally don't like eating the skin of the fish. This is what you want to do if you want to remove the skin. So near the tail end of the fillet, just sort of bring your knife in at an angle through the meat and down the tail. You'll do this, you'll create the sort of flap. Here's the meat, here's the skin. You're going to want to hold on to the skin, get your knife into that flap, and then you angle your knife down toward the skin, and you sort of work the skin back and forth along the knife. You're not so much cutting the knife as much as you're shaving, and you're using that skin to sort of be the guide of that. As long as you sort of just use this like back and forth shaving action, you shouldn't go through the skin, and you shouldn't waste any meat. I mean, look at that. This is all meat right here, all skin right here, and that skin's paper thin. But I've also been cleaning a lot of fish. i got a lot of practice with this. So these fish, for me, I don't know if you, you know, you can save the filet as is for, like, one big filet for a meal. Me, personally, these fish are going to be turned into fish tacos. So I'm going to turn this into two smaller filets to fit in a taco size. 
And from here, all you gotta do is rinse your fillets off. You shouldn't have a whole lot of blood, at least if you bled your fish after you caught it, but the surf perch are still a lot like a crappie in that the scales are pretty large and they come off pretty easily, so they're gonna flake onto your meat and cake on there. And it's all rinsed off. Deposit it to the keeping station and there you have it. I got three fish I'm gonna work on here filleting. So I hope you guys learned the anatomy of a surf perch real simple real You know kind of idiot proof It's one of those things that just takes some practice to get into but if you've caught crappie if you've caught I mean, you know and pretty much any pan fish that is like a perch their anatomy is gonna be real similar but wanted to show you how to clean and Filet a surf perch as well, taking the skin off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. And again, please subscribe to the channel. Help this channel grow to a 1,000 subscribers. I need your help to do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.